Welcome back. It's time for crochet lesson number two. If you're new here and you really want to start learning crochet, check out my Crochet for Beginners playlist linked below to start at the beginning. This is the second lesson. As always, these videos are aimed at absolute beginners in crochet. Over the course of this series, I'll be teaching you everything I know from the simplest stitches to making a magic circle to learning to read a pattern. And don't forget, I'll be using US terms in all of these videos. In the last video, we covered making a slip knot chaining stitches and creating a single crochet, double crochet and a triple crochet. In this video we'll be covering the half stitches, specifically the half double crochet and the half triple crochet. Let's get started. So I'm going to use this orange super chunky yarn just so it's nice and easy to see the stitches and an 8mm hook. I'll also be using some stitch markers. I recommend doing this if you're going to make a swatch with me. It just helps keep track of where the stitches are. So we're going to start with a slip knot and we're going to chain 10. If you don't know how to do this, I do explain that in my first video in this series. So head on there and check it out. I will put the video in the description. As we know, if your chain looks like this, you've done it right. And I'm just going to pop a stitch marker in the 10th chain just so I can see where that is. Now we're going to start a row of half double crochets. Now you're wondering how many you're going to chain. We usually chain one for a single crochet and two for a double crochet. I like to go down for the halves. So I'll chain one and continue with our row of half doubles. So to create a half double crochet, you yarn over like you would for a double crochet. Insert your hook into the stitch. In this instance, it's the second stitch from the hook. Then you want to yarn over by bringing that yarn in front of the hook and pull up a loop by pulling that through. Now you've got three loops on your hook. If we were doing a double crochet, we would yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through two again. But for a half double, we do half of that. We yarn over and we pull through all three on the first go. And that's your first half double crochet. Let's do that again. Yarn over and insert your hook into the stitch. Yarn over by pulling your yarn in front of the hook and pull through to pull up a loop. Now you've got those three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three to create your half double crochet. And then one more time for luck. Yarn over Insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And it's as easy as that. I like to think of it as literally just doing half of a double crochet. You're doing half the work. I'm going to pop a stitch marker there just in the first one of those three that I just made just so I can see the beginning of the row. And we're just going to carry on and do this row together. So yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Sometimes your yarn will split, that's fine. And yarn over and pull through all three loops. Yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over again, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. So now that we've got our first row of half double crochets, this is what that looks like. It's a little bit shorter than a double crochet and a little bit taller than a single crochet. Now let's do this next row together because we'll be working with the stitches instead of the chain it'll feel a little bit different. So again we're going to chain one and turn our work and then this is the stitch we'll be working into. Yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch making sure you're underneath both sides of that V you can split them apart to check. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Make sure there are three loops on your hook. 
Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Pop your stitch marker in there, just to mark your first stitch. And we're going to continue. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three. We're just going to continue working this row in real time. When your yarn catches like that, don't panic, it's fine, just slow down. You can always go back a couple of stitches and redo it. it tends to happen with thicker, chunkier yarn like this. So I'm just going to create a full swatch here. This is a swatch of 10 rows of half double crochet. Usually you would cut this, I'm not going to because I want to make this yarn last, I want to reuse it. This is how a half double crochet swatch will look compared to a single crochet or a double crochet swatch. Just to give you an idea, it's got smaller holes in the double crochet but it's a little more dense so it's a little more similar to that single crochet. Moving on, let's cover a half triple crochet. So because we're doing a half triple crochet, I'm going to chain two, one less than you would chain for a full triple crochet. We're going to yarn over and then we're going to yarn over again. Insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. You've got four loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through the three. So you're only yarning over and pulling through twice. Yarn over twice, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through three. So I'm gonna do this row in real time so you can follow along. And that is how two rows of half triple crochet should look. I'm going to carry on and create a full swatch of half triple crochet so you can see how that looks. I'm going to do five rows of half triple crochet just because I don't like doing them and I don't want to do ten rows. Again I'm not going to cut it because I want to reuse this yarn. But this is five rows of half triple crochet compared to ten rows of half double crochet and ten rows of double crochet. 
you can see it's a lot more gappy and a lot wider. Now you can practice perfecting these stitches, create some flat swatches, get used to it, learn how it feels. The next mini crochet guide will cover creating foundation rows so that you can skip crocheting into the chain, which we all know I hate. So keep an eye out for that one next month. If you enjoyed this video, drop me a like. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for joining me. Bye.